It's official, at least one of California's reservoirs is now at capacity for the first time in years, according to data from California Department of Water Resources. High reservoir levels are a welcomed relief after years of drought. Wet weather has poured into the Golden State over the past several months, and reservoirs started to swell. The three that were poised to head over the top with a bit more moisture included San Luis, Kachuma, and Castaic reservoirs. But which one took the win this week? Kachuma Reservoir reached 100% of its capacity, or 193,305 AF, on Wednesday. AF stands for acre feet, the measurement commonly used for water. One acre foot equals about 326,000 gallons, according to the Water Education Foundation. Kachuma is located on the Santa Inez River, 25 miles northwest of the city of Santa Barbara. Water in this reservoir is also sent through the Santa Inez Mountains to supply residents in the south coast region, including Montecito, Summerland, and Carpinteria. San Luis Reservoir has been sitting at the 99% of capacity mark for weeks. The quick growth of the reservoir over the past several months made it seem a likely winner in the reservoir race. DWR has been maintaining scheduled releases from Lake Oroville into the Feather River for fish planting operations. This caused the Feather River to swell for a period, but the levels quickly returned to normal. The Oroville Reservoir water levels has been steady at an 85 to 89 percent capacity with the releases. The wet weather has certainly benefited the state, as some areas have climbed out of the drought. However, the rain and storms have also had challenging impacts including flooding, down trees and even feet of heavy snow in mountainous areas. As the now record-breaking snowpack begins to melt with warmer temperatures, many in central California could be at risk from further flooding.